I can't really, I can't really slate the lad for sexual preference because, like, to be fair, look at me. I'm not exactly a stud, am I? I the people you can't. I'm wearing Thundercat shoes. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not the best. Um, I, I'll be honest. I, I've been a bit crap with women all my life. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my I'll give you my story about losing my virginity. Yeah? So, sir, so you, you've been around the world, I can tell. Uh, the first time, the first time, was it, were you quite awkward with my bashful? Or did you smash it out the park? Yeah. Bullshit! Bullshit! No, no, no. It's, 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 I thought I did anyway. I was going to say, I bet the girl didn't. Fuck that. No, no, but it is, it's always awkward on your first time. But, uh, sir, how awkward would it be if you got caught by your mum? <laughs> I didn't even think she'd wake up, to be honest. <laughs> The, the first girl, yeah. Uh, the first girl. I was 21 years old. I was 21 years old, and I was working at Tesco's, and she was working with me. And this is a genuine story. Now we dated for ten and a half years, and I genuinely thought sex only happened four times a year. I thought you got it quarterly. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it's that time of year again. And so basically, uh, we, we lived like a very sterile life, you know. I, I, this isn't even a joke now, I would hoover the house six times a day, I used to be like super OCD, it's like I had my little routines, everything would be in the set order, ten and a half years together, just dumps me out of the blue, kicks me out of the house, yeah, I know, and I, I was like, I don't know what to do now, I don't know what to do, so it took me about three months to sort myself out and get back, you know, got me a little pad and everything, get myself back out there, and I thought like, right, come on mate, pick yourself up, get yourself out there, start talking to some people, but I'm not very good, like this is, this is alien to me, I'm not very good at talking normally, so, um, <coughs> What is it? Has anybody heard of plenty of fish? Fuck it out. You met on plenty of fish. I was going to say, Jesus Christ. Because all I can say is, in ten and a half years, women have changed quite a bit. Because, um, yeah, no, I met this girl, and she, she seemed really, really. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, she, but she seemed really, really nice. And uh, what I did was, we started dating, and we got to like the third date. And she sort of like said, oh, do you want to go upstairs? And I'm like, oh, right, I've seen some films, I know what's going to happen here. So, <laughs> so she grabs me by the hand and she takes me upstairs, and I'm going towards the bedroom. And she does a bit of a turn and we go into the bathroom. I'm like, oh, I'm, I don't know what's going on, but this seems fine. And then she goes, get in the bath. Like, oh, right. <laughs> Close your eyes and open your mouth. So I'm like, oh, she's going to feed me some strawberries. <laughs> so after I finish wiping the piss off my face. <laughs> Um, uh, basically, I got anal for the first time. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is amazing. It's quite worth it, it's quite worth it. So that became our little Pavlovian thing. Would be, she'd come round, we'd have some food, she'd take me upstairs, I'd get in the bath, a little bit of pee, a little bit of bone. <laughs> and then uh, one day, she takes me upstairs, she goes, get in the bath, I get in the bath, I assume the position, and I'm there, eyes closed, and I just feel. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to push poo down a plug hole with your <laughs> so she, She's crying her eyes out, I'm going, you're just shouting me! She's like, you're not going to want sex anymore, are you? I'm probably going to want sex. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you on that one. <laughs> Ha ha ha!